Hey guys, happy Friday. It's officially February. That means we've been doing this channel for almost a year, which is insane and awesome. And there's like 450 of you now, which is also insane and awesome. We finally decided to put together a Facebook page as maybe an easier way or just another way to keep in contact with you guys and share other stuff that maybe we never have time for in the videos or it's just easier to share on a Facebook page. So I'll uh, put a link below. It's still in the development phases, so there's not much on it right now, but please go like it if you want to keep track of that. All right, I'm going to be jumping around a bit answering the geeks, so stay with me. First off, Mario. Yes, the scenery in Washington was absolutely gorgeous, but it was so cold and so windy and it rained way too much of the time. And as someone who's grown up in the Vegas desert for most of her life, even though I was born in Alabama, I do not do well in humidity. I felt like the whole time in Washington, my hair was just getting bigger and bigger. And had I not left, it would have eventually just consumed me, become its own separate living entity, and like gone around the world making horrible hair puns or something. Well, isn't that hair raising? Yep. I want your Reese's ice cream. Pyro, my hat buddy! Lunar Fest looked like so much fun and I loved watching that video and I wish I could go to WonderCon. That's one that I've wanted to go to forever, but I never had the time to go. And like, now that I have the time, I don't have the money. So, <laughs> but if something changes and I am able to go there, I will be there in a freaking heartbeat. Steph, I'm so sorry about all of your Green Lantern depression. With my main fan bases being Harry Potter, anything Joss Whedon, and Doctor Who, I am very, very familiar with emotional character death. And you asked us to tell you about the most painful one, and being subjected to so many, it's really hard to pick one that's worse than the others. So I'm actually gonna share three, one from each of the fandoms. And just to avoid spoiling anything for anyone, I'll put the book, series, or show, or movie, or whatever that I'm talking about in big letters right here so you can skip past anything that you don't want to hear about. So the first major one is from Harry Potter and that one, out of all the characters that die, which most of them were emotional, I have to go with Fred Weasley because he was just, oh, Fred and George were just like the laughter and happiness of the series. Like as it got darker, they just got more happy with like their joke shop and everything and just to kill one of them. Oh, George like, George lost an ear and his brother and the way that he died, the way she described it in the book with him still having a smile on his face just wrenches at me. The next one is the one that actually Mario talked about too, uh, Firefly or actually Serenity. That one honestly might be my biggest one because I absolutely loved Wash. Even just hearing that line of dialogue associated with it, which I don't know why I own this shirt, it's super depressing, but I absolutely love the line even though it brings so much sadness. Just, just hearing the line gives me emotions. And for Doctor Who, it's not technically a death, but it's almost worse in my mind, um, was Donna. The way Donna's story ended was just so far beyond depressing. I think I was upset for days to have a life filled with amazing things and to have done amazing things for the world and for the universe and to not remember it and to not be able to remember someone that's so amazing as the doctor and a friend that you've made is just Honestly, it's almost more depressing from the doctor's point of view because she was an amazing friend. Whereas a lot of the companions get like the romantic feelies for him. Like she was straight up just a friend who was there for him and was like a rock when he needed it. Even though she was completely ridiculous and a little bit naggy sometimes. <laughs> but he was, she was the friend that he needed and he had to lose her in order to save her. And that just, ah. Okay, on to the last depressing thing so I don't just start crying right now. Uh, Luluko mentioned something about a fight over Nathan Fillion between Hermie and Mario, 
And uh, I missed where that started somewhere. But I will fight both of you. At Lulica Met Vagina! I'm so sad I didn't get to go with them to the Arizona convention. As much as I love helping out with Hollywood stuff and as fun as going to Washington was, I was super sad when I found out that I wasn't going to be able to go with the group to the Arizona convention because I've never been to an Arizona convention. And I wanted to see your face again. For anyone who didn't catch Lilico's description, Vagina is very awesome girls into nerdy activities. It's a group I'm a part of here in Vegas that was founded because its creator, Stephanie, um, wanted to create a place for girl nerds to express themselves without fear of judgment from guy nerds. It's a group of amazing girls that are all half insane just like me. And through our love of nerdy things, we do events and fundraisers and volunteer work to help the community and other communities. One of the big ones was for the shooting that happened during the Dark Knight Rises premiere. The group organized a bake and craft sale that was stationed in all the local comic book stores and raised a ton of money for the victims and the victims' families. But we also do random things like attend some of the midnight movie premieres and just make little crafty things to hand out to anyone just waiting in line, just to make the event more entertaining while you're waiting to go see the movie. In general, it's basically a group that just promotes more positivity in the nerd community. I've only been a member for a few months now, but I absolutely love it and I love everyone in the group. Uh, I was actually introduced to it, or brought into it, I guess, through my friend Haley, who you've met a couple times on here. And she actually sent me a picture of her and Luluco at the Arizona convention, and for a last minute costume, Luluco still looks awesome. And I know Stephanie's been trying to expand other states, and I think Arizona was her first goal since it's right there, it's our neighbor! So if you're able to be a part of expanding that and be a part of Vagina! It would be freaking fantastic. Alright, so if you follow my Facebook page, you'll know that I've become recently obsessed with Magic the Gathering. And I was gonna talk about that, but this video kind of turned into emotions over character deaths and a vagina love fest. So I don't want it to be too super long, so I'm actually gonna save this until next video. But it was so good to be back. I hope everyone has a great weekend, stay geeky, and we will see you next week. <laughs>